All right, so we got his legs trimmed out. We got him straight, front and back. There's um, 30 on each side, so that's 60. Most are normally 10 and 10, so these are a little big. I'm going to go ahead and glue in the inner strip. So I'll do that on each side. So the glue will work with me. Do just like we did with the arm, the bicep. Go down so much. Set it down to the next piece. Do the exact same thing. I already pre-trimmed everything, all the shims. And I already set them, I know exactly where they go. All I gotta do is put them in. So there's those two pieces. Now the next side. Shake it. Nope, it's not going to work. It should be dry. Let me see it. Don't worry about it. And now we'll do the inside. This one, I'm going to cook it. My belt sander wasn't working with me. Really matter because the inside shim will hide anything. We do the other inside. cut these shims, I did not cut them to be as wide as what the, what the actual outer strip is going to be. It doesn't really matter because it's the inside one and we're just using it for strength. And also, notice I rounded the corners so that it'll fit where it bends. So the bottom is straight, the back one, they're just straight, but the top one, I actually rounded it. When I go to put them together, it just fits right in there. And what I will also do is I'll check it before I try to glue it, I'll check to make sure that this one piece doesn't hit. Like I said, I made it shorter so they're not as wide as what the shim I'll need on the outside. Again, I said I had problems with my grinder, so it left quite a bit of a mess up right there. But once you put the outer shim in, it's going to hide this whole area right here. So from this edge here, all the way up to the top here, it's going to hide everything in, in between. So we don't, we're not putting it from here to the top. We're putting it right here where this edge is. And when we line it up, we want to line the top up. And we want to try to line the bottom up. Try to line them both up as closely as possible. Some, some armors you might not be able to. Some you can. So just line it up as best you can. It's going to be hidden here. It's going to be hidden here with the strip anyways. So if you want to line it up just a little bit more on the bottom, that's fine. So this one should be done now. Now we're going to show you the top on this one. So I did a little bit better. I took 
too much on, I wasn't trying to rush. So the line is very even. The top lines up and the bottom lines up. So now we're going to put these on. Same thing with the back. So the back is going to be the same exact way as the front. You can bring it from where that bevel, that edge is right here, to the top. On this other armor, the back piece, one side is flat, one side isn't. So with um, with him being bigger, I couldn't cut off as much as I wanted to. So if you only have you're, you're the actor side, you go 10 in, 10 in on the other side, it's 20, and this gap will not be as noticeable. But since he's a bigger guy, you're just going to have to, this, this shim's going to be right here, the outer strip's going to be right here, so it's not going to line up here, but there's really nothing that we can do about it. It's not the end of the world. But um, that's just something you're going to have to think about when you put it together. All right, so we're going to do the, the back side first. So we're going to have to use these again. So I'm going to have to tighten them up. this side or glue it put the tape down first I'll glue it I'll put it down clamp it down tape it and then put the gray clamps down this will be a lot easier if you had help doing this I just I don't have help, so it's uh, fine if you don't. Just do it. Just do it however you can. No. You just film. I'm just going to come in the inside. Throw a little bit more glue down just to make sure it's all glued together. Now we're going to do the same exact thing for the next one. So just like the arms, the legs are the same. Same thing with the shins, but the shins are only going to be the front. And you'll be doing the inner and outer. I think it's an air thing, so you got to take the top off. Alright. I'm going to glue it again. Put it on, make sure they're all lined up, the top and the bottom. Find the front, find the back. Again, the inside just drop. Take it 
gekriegt habe. when you tip it on the side. extra bit of pressure so it'll it won't lift up in the center. That's the hardest part to reach. So like I said, when you clamp it down, you're not going to be able to get that center part. It's really hard to get to. So I'm going to throw a little bit of bead on just to make sure. Let that one dry. This one we can take apart. So now what we're going to do just put the outer, make some outer shims real quick. Put the, put them on, and then we're gonna sit there. And if you look at the leg, it is. Uh, we're gonna try to squish it in more, so it'll fit more into the thigh.